Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM Dirt Extended Model. For today's second video, this is the ECM Dirt for today slash six weeks uh, look out for the UK and for Ireland too. And I should get on that for you in a moment. Just save that first video, save for 6 a.m. upload. We've got weekend forecast and a 10 to 14 day coming up for you later on today. So uh, if you'd like to, please like, share and subscribe on videos. Thank you so much everybody uh, for doing that. Right, okay, let's start off with week one. Uh, mean cell pressure anomaly for the uh, next week. This is for next week, 20th, 27th March, from uh, the ECMWF. Thank you so much to ECMWF.int for supplying the charts, by the way. Thank you so much. EC! <laughs> right, so we start off in week one with plenty of low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. Looks pretty unsettled, that, doesn't it? The 500 millibar high tsunami from the North Pole view down. Again, showing all of those areas below and heights, low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. Temperature anomalies uh, next week, anomalies even, uh, next week are coming out milder than average. It should be a relatively mild week come. But with all that low pressure coming in off the Atlantic, it will also be quite wet with above average rainfall. Week 2 will be the 27th of March to the 3rd of April. Looks like high pressure building a little bit around Greenland and Iceland in this week, potentially sending the low pressure a little bit further south. It's good that start to bring some colder air back into uh, the north. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar heights. So again, we see about trough of low pressure, if anything, being pushed further eastwards as the heights rise around Greenland. And again, that might be starting to bring something a little bit colder into the northern half of the country. Temperature normally is lower, and it begins to go cold on average up in the north. So uh, it looks like they are starting to infiltrate some cold air from Scandinavia, which is, of course, sitting under uh, cold temperatures. And it's also rather unsettled as well. So above average rainfall once more, but above our precipitation once more. If it's cold enough, that might give a little bit of snow for northern areas, even though we're talking about the beginning of uh, April there. Well, week three <laughs> is going to be preferred to the 10th of March, uh, uh, April. And again, we see the high pressure is up towards Greenland, Iceland. The low pressure is across the west of Europe. And uh, we might again be bringing wind from quite a cold east or northeasterly direction. The 500 millibar height is obviously looks like that. Blocking around Greenland and Iceland, a low top of low pressure underneath it. Uh, temperature anomaly is about average. So those colder temperatures from week two doesn't look like they continue into week three, although it's no better than average or has no signal really. And precipitation wise, weakening signal, but still behaving a little bit on the wetter side, to be honest, I think there. Um, not looking <laughs> not looking great, is it? Week four will be the temp to the seventeenth of April. Oh. Oh. Oh now let's put in a couple of question marks, shall we? Uh, so what's going on there? What's going on? 500 millibar highs. Oh, that looks very mysterious as well, doesn't it? I don't know, do you? Something's going on there in the middle of April. I think some sort of pattern change. Uh, the temperature anomaly is, uh, again, close to average, possibly going a little bit uh, milder than average. Um, Precipitation-wise, again, not much of a signal there, is there? Right, week five will be the 17th to the 24th of April. High pressure is up towards green and low pressure is around Spain. Quite a weak signal again. 500 millibar height showing some sort of area of the higher pressure in the North Atlantic over towards Canada. Otherwise, again, we'll put in a question mark. How's the temperature anomaly looking? Again, no better than average or has no signal. Uh, precipitation wise, again, it looks very mysterious, this, doesn't it? From like the middle of uh, April onwards. It is dry above up here, you'll notice, and over here. So, possibly ongoing signals of like blocking continuing. And then lastly, week six, we have the 24th of April to the 1st of May. 
high pressure towards Scandinavia then. Uh, and that could start bringing the wind from an easterly direction. Which, of course, in May, not going to be particularly cold. Uh, the 500 millibar height looks like that. Higher pressure setting up over to the east of the coast. Could, start, could that start bringing up a warm, sort of southeasterly type flow? Uh, temperature anomaly is going warmer. So we, we come to the end of April into May, uh, getting spring going properly here now, I think, after being rather delayed. And uh, precipitation wise, not much of a silver. It does look ever so slightly drier to our eggs. Right, that's it then for this week. All very mysterious there from the middle of April. It's there. Don't you? Um, <laughs> between now and then, it looks like it's going to be getting colder again. End of uh, March into beginning of April, it looks like it's going somewhat colder again, especially so for the north. Going to be unsettled as well for the next two or three weeks. Plenty more uh, rain to come, unfortunately. Middle of April, almost some sort of change looks like starts to take place. Um, you know, possibly second half of April into beginning of May, so drier and warmer. We'll wait to see about that. Right, going to be back shortly with weekend broadcast and your tennis ball team day. Come back for both both of those two videos later. But for uh, the EC42 day slash six week again, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.